Hi, I'm Paul Groy, Applications Engineer here in the Precision Systems Group at Texas Instruments. And what I'd like to show you today is our EMI hardened amplifiers. Most op amps, when they are bombarded by a high frequency signal like RF or EMI in the VHF to UHF to microwave band, will exhibit an offset shift. Now this offset shift can be little or a lot. And mostly this will end up as sounding like uh, buzzes and beeps in audio systems or in the case of sensors will actually be jumps in readings or strange anomalies going on. So what I'd like to demonstrate today is the effects of the EMIRR on an op amp. So what I have here is a demonstration that has two pressure sensors that each has its own amplifier. So there's two identical channels here. One of the channels, the top channel, has the LMV 851 op amp, but it's special because this one has its internal EMI filter disabled. The second channel, the bottom channel, is an LMV 851 with the internal EMI filters. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply a blast of radiation using my cell phone. This would be normally the blips and bleeps you would hear. So if we look up on the scope, we can see the effects. The top channel is the amplifier without the EMI filter, the built-in EMI filter. And the channel below is the same amplifier, but with the EMI filter enabled. So here you can see the dramatic difference between the, the amplifier without a filter and the amplifier with the filter. And if you'd like more information, please go to www.ti.com slash amplifiers or search the TI amplifier site with e for EMIRR. Thank you for watching.